Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and very good morning. Today we will learn about uh, trees for lecture 13. Okay, here is actually continuous uh, topic from relation, uh, graph, then trees. Okay, what is trees? Okay, this is the lecture content which is introduction to trees. Uh, application of trees, traversal algorithm, implicit prefix, postfix, and notific notif notation, postfix notation. Okay, so for the introduction to trees, actually trees is uh, undirected graph, which is we learned previously in graph chapter. A tree is an archaic connected undirected graph. In other words, a tree is a connected graph without any circuit, meaning that a tree is something continuous which is connected graph without any circuit. Circuit meaning that the graph uh, it can back to the point where it begin, which is one circuit. Okay, for example here, which of the following is a tree? Okay, so here Okay, this is, okay, in order to test whether it is a tree or not, we have to test whether it is connected graph without N, without any circuit. So, to test is it connected or not, okay, we can test here from A to F, we can join this from A to F, then from B to E, then it's connected, right? And it always have a path. Okay, so from B to D, there is a way from B to D, so it connected and there is no circuit. So, we know that G1 is a tree. Then, we have to test for G2. For G2, okay, we, we can go from C to D by using this path. So, it's connected from B to F, from this path, and we can't go from D back to D again. So, it's not have any circuit here. So, we can conclude that G2 is also a tree. Okay, for G3, okay, to test whether it is connected or not, okay, we can go from F to B so it's connected from D to A uh, from D to A here okay so it's connected but here there is uh, okay we have to know whether it is circuit or not it has circuit or not or not okay so here we can notice that there is one circuit here which is from D and back to D again. So, we can conclude that G3 is not a tree. Okay, for G4, we have to test the connection first, which is from, if we want to go from C, from A to C. Okay, here the pass. Okay, but there is no vertices here, so we have to go straight. So, there is no way from A to C, from A to D. There is, because of, there is, uh, this tree contain of two paths, which is this one path and this also another path, which is, it is not connected. So, G4 is not a circuit. Okay. Next is a rooted tree. A rooted tree is a tree in which one vertex has been assigned as the root as every edge is directed away from the root. Okay, this is the root, which is, we call it as a parent. Okay, then the internal vertices. Okay, this point, we call it as internal vertices. Internal vertices here contain of, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 internal vertices. Then, 
Okay, this is what we call as a. Okay, this is as a leaf. Okay, leaf is the end vertices, which is one. Uh, it has one, two. It have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven leaf here. Okay, or we call it as a child. Okay. Next is a rooted tree is called an M array tree if every internal vertex has no more than M children, meaning that the greatest is M, so we can call it as M array tree. For example, here this is the root as a parent, then it's contained to one, two, three, three child. Contain of three child. This is okay. Then from this parent, it contain of one, two, two child. Okay, from this parent, one, two, three, and from this parent, one. Okay, same is the other vertices. We can show that the 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 greatest are. The children um, yang paling besar ialah 3. So, M is equal to 3 which is 3 array 3. Okay, a rooted tree is called a full M array tree if every internal vertex has exactly M children. Okay, for example here, every parent here contain of 1, 2, 3 child. Okay, from here we have 1, 2, 3 from this root we have 1, 2, 3 and from these vertices, we have 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is the example of full tree array 3. Okay, so an M array 3 with M is equal to 2 is called, is called a binary tree, which is the, the greatest number of each is 2 is for the child. Okay. So, a binary tree. A tree in which there is exactly one vertex or degree 2 and each of the remaining vertices is degree 1 or 3. Okay. One vertex of degree 2 and each of the remaining vertices is of degree 1 or or three. Since the vertex of degree two is distinct from all other vertices, this vertex is served as a root. Okay, this is as a root and it's contained of two child. So we call it as binary tree. Thus, every binary tree is a rooted tree. Property of binary tree is the number of vertices n is a binary tree is always odd, which is the number of vertices n. Okay, this is the vertices one. Okay, so we can call, we can count, which is this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. So, the number of vertices is always odd, which is 15. Okay. A, a property of rooted tree. Okay, this is the property of rooted tree. A tree with n vertices has n minus 1 each. Okay. We can test this statement by using this tree, binary tree. It have 15 vertices, right? But it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 edges. It has each. Okay, this is 1 edge, 2 edge, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. Okay, a tree just now has 15 vertices, has n minus 1 each, which is 1 minus, uh, 
each is one less than vertices. A full M array tree with n vertices has n minus one divided by m internal vertices i. Okay, you can test this statement by using the previous example and also this internal vertices has m minus one i. What is i? I is internal vertices. What is internal vertices? Internal vertices is vertices inside this red box. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 only. Okay. And application of a tree. Tree as a model. Binary search tree. Tree are used as a model in such diverse area as computer science, chemistry, geology, botany and psychology. Actually, we always see tree. Previously in our school, if there is, uh, 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 there is a uh, chart for the every club, right? There is uh, pengurusi, naik pengurusi, secretary. So that's represent a tree also. For example, here representing organization president, vice president, vice president, and the uh, the leaf is director, director software, then others. Okay, this is the example of tree in organization. Okay, computer file system. There is also a tree. Okay, tree are used as a model in a such diverse area as computer science, chemistry, geology, botany, and psychology. Okay, for example here, we can see this. Okay, where are our file located? In our computer, we can see this in the okay in our document and it upper in the atas bagian atas in our document in our computer. Okay, which is content of okay. This is as a parent and this is as a child. Then end of this is our file, which is uh, for example here. His file is mail, who, junk, and at and R O and R of okay and others okay okay three are uh, used as a mo model for example here. Okay, for example, here tree as a molecule, which is this is butan. Butan are uh, the structure of butan molecule, which is is contain three carbon and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, ten hydrogen C four H ten C four H ten, which is our uh, root is parent in a tree is a tree and leaf and each leaf is h each leaf is h okay so here also isobutan which is c4 and h1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 uh, c4 h10 but it's represent uh, the also, dalam tu sama but it's different in the structure. So, it call it is for butane and also butane. Okay. So, here, computer file, represent molecule. And other application of a tree is binary search tree. How should item in a list to uh, be stored so that an item can be easily located? Okay. This binary search tree is... One of the popular searching method and decision tree. In order to make a decision, uh, we can also use tree. For example, in the uh, in apa? Maksudnya kita ada uh, uh, macam kita nak selesaikan masalah uh, the shortest part. Whether we want to go left or right, left or right. That's one example of decision tree. Prefix code and game tree. Game tree is uh, uh game tree example. For example, damaji. Kalau damaji, whether kita nak pergi kiri atau kanan atau ha uh, atau kita nak makan kita punya opponent ah uh, that's the tree decision in a game. 
Okay, searching for item in a list is one of the most important tasks arise in a computer science. Okay, our primary goal is to implement a searching algorithm that find item efficiently when the item are totally ordered. This can accomplish through the use of binary search tree. Okay, for example here. Okay, from uh, form form a binary search tree for the word mathematics, physics, geology, zoology, meteorology, geology, psychology, chemistry. Okay, using alphabetical order. So here, the the question one us to build a binary tree. So we know that in a binary tree there is only two child, right? Okay, and the rule that we have to follow is using alphabetical order. Order. So here. Every time, the first word will be a parent, which is mathematics. So then, the mathematics, okay, by using alphabetical order, we have to consider P. After mathematics is physics, which is P. P is come after M, right? So, P is come after M. This physics will become our right child, which is after M. This is physics. Okay, after physics, after physics is geography and geography is come before M, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. Okay, before M. So, here will become geography. Okay, geography. Geography. Okay, after geography is zoology. So we know that for mathematics, there's only two child. So enough with the mathematics. So we have to consider zoology. Zoology is come after physics because of that is the last uh, word, right? Okay, so it will become the right child of the physics, which is zoology here. Okay, zoology. Then the next word is meteorology. We have to consider meteorology. Meteorology is something between mathematics and physics, right? So, we can't put it here, but we have to put it as a left child of a physics, which is meteorology. Meteorology. Okay, so then geology. Okay, this is geography. So geology is G E O G G E O L. So which come first? A B C D E F G H I J K L. So geology come first. So eh, geography come first. So geology will become the Right child of the geography, which is here is geology. Okay, geology. Okay, so after geology is psychology. Psychology is something here, which is physics, right? Physics. Okay, physics. P P H Y A B C D E F G H. Okay, H is come before S, right? So it's something between physics and zoology. Okay, so we can put it as the left child of the zoology, which is, which is psychology. Psychology, okay, okay, and the last one is chemistry. So chemistry is where is chemistry located? Which is it come before M, before G, and it will be the right 
and the left child of the geology which is here is chemistry okay this is how we can build a binary tree by using alphabetical order it's always a rule which is we know that we have to follow the rule here the rule is alphabetical order so we have to consider in order to build a tree we have to consider a, an alphabetical order okay so here the example which is after mathematics is physics then geography zoology so because zoology is after physics right okay so meteorology because of meteorology is after mathematics and before physics so it's in between that so then geology is uh, before mathematics but it's after after geography then is psychology and the last one is chemist chemistry okay uh, okay so here sorry okay then traversal algorithm what is traversal algorithm order rooted tree are often used to sort information so then how can we get information from the tree so traversal algorithm we can uh, uh, how we visit every vertex in the tree we need to consider for visiting each vertex of order and order rooted tree to access access data okay okay so order rooted tree can also be used to represent various type of expression such as arithmetic expression involving number, variable, and operation. Consider for systematically visiting every text, vertex of an order rooted tree are called traversal algorithm. The most commonly used, which is uh, which are pre-order traversal, in-order traversal, and post-order traversal. Okay. For pre-order traversal is Okay, if we have these three, so then pre-order traversal is something parent will have to put parent vertex in front. Which is here, we have A. A in front, which is, okay. After A, we have the child. Okay, we have uh, B, C, and D. So we have to sort after parents A, then we C, B, C, and D. And the child of B here remain. Also, the child of B remain. So here only C doesn't ah uh, did, did not have any child. Okay. So this is the first layer. The second layer we we write it. Okay. B as a parent, right? Okay. A remain as a first character. Then, uh, after A, after A is B. Okay, after that is E. Okay, E. So then, remain the child of B for a while. Then, after E, we see that uh, after E, okay, we know that there is F. Okay, there is F here. Then after that, remain C, D, then under D is, uh, uh, there is a child which is G, H, I. Then only G have a child here. Okay, for the third layer, okay, remain A, B, E. But under E, there is a child, so we put J, K. J, then K, remain the child. Okay, then just write F, C, D, 
G but here under G have LM so put LM then write HI okay so and the last iteration is remain other character but for the K after K is N O P there is new thing here K N O P okay there is no child anymore so we end here so this is the last uh, order that we get from the from this tree okay okay for in order traversal for in order traversal here uh, okay, in order traversal, A, A is a, as a parent. So, A here, in order. So, in order, parent always put in a center, which is A. A, up before A is B. Then, right uh, below A, C, we put it in a right. Then, B. So remain the child here. Okay. So then B. B is a, as a parent for the second layer. B as a parent, we put B at a center. Then E F in between B. E F in between B. Then A right again A C. Then we have D here. D at a center. Then in between that is G. H I okay so for the next layer is okay we know that E as a parent put it at the center then J K in between E okay then write again B F E C then for G put it in a center and L M in between G E H I okay for the last layer uh, all remain the same except for K. K here as a parent, then we put N O P in between K. Okay, this is what we call in order traversal. Okay, for the post order traversal, okay, post order traversal, parent always at the back. Okay, how can we? Start the post order traversal. Okay, so B, C, D as a child, we put it in front A, B, C, D. So, here, for the second layer, B as a parent, B as a parent, then E, F is in front. E, F as in front of B. Then C, D as a parent, then G, H, I is in front. G, H, I in front of D. Then A. Okay, then for this child, we have to put J, K in front of E. J, K in front of E. Then F, B, C. Then L, M in front of G. L, M in front of G. Then just write the rest as previous so the last one we have only n o p to be solved so j n o p then k okay so the rest is the same so n for this post order traversal this is the order of the post order traversal okay Next is the infix, prefix, and postfix notation. We can represent complicated expressions such as compound, proposition, combination of set, arithmetic expression using ordered through the tree. For instance, this uh, plus is an addition. Okay, this is subtraction, multiplication, symbol, division, and exponential. Exponentiation. Exponentiation. We will use parentheses to indicate the order of the operation. Parentheses macam kita buat uh, algebra, multiplication kan kita ada kurungan. So dalam kurungan kita selesaikan dulu, lepas tu baru luar kurungan. Okay, okay. And order 
rotor tree can be used to represent such expression where the internal vertices represent operation and the leaf represent the variable of or numbers. Okay, for this. Okay, for this example, we have this expression. Then we know that we have to solve this and this first. Okay, so we in to solve this by using binary tree for this expression can be built from the bottom up first a sub tree for expression x plus 1 is contracted also a sub tree for x minus 4 ok we know that this is the expression that we have to solve so then in here have x plus y ok x y as a child then the parent as uh, is plus ok remember we have we always remember that every expression must be a parent maksudnya expression maksudnya tambah tolak bahagi ni sebagai parent yang bawah sekali leave dia mesti number of or variable number ataupun boleh ubah ok so x plus y so as a parent a parent is plus ok x minus 4 ok this is the first expression then after that x plus y power 2 so then we know that we can't build the third the third uh, edge here but it's uh, Dia ialah satu satu parent yang lain which is kuasa 2 So kita kena letak sebelah ni kuasa 2 Sebab kuasa ni dia tak boleh letak bawah X atau Y Because of X variable atau number tak boleh jadi vertis uh, Maksudnya dia tak boleh jadi parent Maksudnya kat bawah dia ada tambah tolak pula Dia ialah end lift, lift. Maksudnya dia dah ujung akar tu Okay so kat sini kuasa 2. So kat sini x minus 4 bahagi dengan 3. X minus 4 bahagi. Bahagi pun sama. Kita tak boleh letak dia dekat bawah x, dekat bawah 4. So kita letak dia dekat atas sini. Dia akan jadi parent yang baru. Yang atas lagi. Which is what? Bahagi 3. Okay. So sekarang for the... This is the... This is the first... Three and the second three. So how to combine it? Combine it with the new parent, which is plus. So this is the combination, which is combination with the plus. So complete complete the three for this expression. Okay. What is in phase, preface, postfix? In fix ni sama je macam in order tadi. In order traversal. Prefix, pre-order traversal. Postfix, post-order traversal. Which is in fix, parent duduk tengah-tengah. Prefix, parent duduk depan sekali. Postfix, parent duduk akhir. Contoh kalau kita nak tengok ni, expression ni sebenarnya sama je. Okay, for example here. If we have x plus y. x plus y here. In fix, in fix parents will be at the center, right? X plus Y, X plus Y. Okay, but for the prefix, parent akan jadi letak kat depan. So, X kat depan, lepas tu, uh, eh, tambah dekat depan, X, Y. Okay, so, 3 dia sama lagi. Okay, tapi kalau untuk postfix, Ah, parent letak kat belakang tambah lepas tu x, y ok still sama for the second expression uh, multiplication uh, 6 6 times 3 ok so for the this is the infix Punya expression which is parent di tengah-tengah So prefix parent dia letak dekat depan uh, Darab letak dekat depan Lepas tu 6, 3 Lepas tu postfix is parent will be at the back 
then in front of the parent is 6, 3. So, same as here. How can we write this in 3? Okay, so here, darab xy, xy tambah z. Okay, so sekarang, sorry eh. Okay. Okay, x, y. Okay, darab x, y. Okay, x, y. X, y. Okay, tapi kita tahu bahawa tambah ni, kita tak boleh letak dekat bawah x dengan y. Sebab x dengan y can be a parent because it variable. Okay, so kita kena tambah dekat atas ni lah. Tambah z. Okay, so this is the tree look like for the third expression. So then, yang ini pula. Okay, so kita boleh tulis yang ni. Kita dapat yang sama juga. Okay, so. Ni tambah Z. So, jadi. Okay, kat sini. Tambah. Z. Okay, so dekat sini. Tambah darab x, y, z ni macam mana dia dapat? Macam kita letak tadi uh, pre-order traversal lah. Bila kita ada parent, parent kita sekarang tambah kan? Tambah letak dekat depan sekali. Lepas tu kita ada darab. Lepas tu kat darab ni. Uh, kat darab ni kita ada x, y. Lepas tu kita ada z. Okay, so sekarang. Yang ni tak selesai lagi. So, kita kena selesaikan X. Eh, X pula. Sorry. Kita ada. Kita ada tambah. Kita ada darab. Lepas tu, per, uh, parent letak dekat depan kan? Lepas tu, X. Lepas tu, Y. Lepas tu, Z. So, this is prefix. Pre-order. Traversal macam kat mana kita baca tu. So, dia jadi prefix. Nampak tak sama je. So, kalau tak faham ni, refer balik yang prefix tadi tu. Pre-order uh, pre traversal tu. Okay, macam tu juga kalau kita ada postfix. Kita letak parent dekat belakang. Okay, so next is. Okay, what is a prefix form for this? Okay, so the prefix form for this, we obtain prefix form for this by traversing a binary tree that represent in pre-order. Shown in example 3. Okay, so sekarang kalau kita nak selesaikan ni macam mana kita nak letak dia dalam bentuk prefix. Kita boleh buat daripada expression ni. Kita boleh build a binary tree here. Then kita baca balik guna pre-order traversal. Pre-order traversal tadi parent dia tak dekat depan. Lepas tu lepas parent is... Uh, anak dia, lepas tu macam mana kita baca pre-order traversal dan kita dapat yang ni. Boleh baca balik yang tadi pre-order traversal tu. Okay, yang ni ya. Eh. Kita go back. Ha, this is pre-order traversal. Pre-order traversal ni adalah prefix tadi tu lah macam mana kita nak baca. Okay, so kalau post-order traversal is post-fix. In-order traversal is in-fix. Okay, so back to the lecture here. Okay, so for postfix also the same which is we have this then represent this in a one way is represent this in a binary tree then from the binary tree write it again in a postfix notation which is post order traversal so we get this okay okay we get this okay so, here, what is the value of prefix expression? Here, okay. Remember prefix. Prefix, parent, where is the parent? Parent come. Parent come first. Okay, this is as a parent. So, for prefix, we have to read it from the back, from the child. Okay, so, sekarang, 
Macam mana kita nak selesaikan prefix expression ni? So, first is we have to find the operator. Operator yang pertama ialah kuasa dekat sini. So, lepas kuasa ni cari dua nombor yang di belakang dia. Itu dua tiga. So, dua tiga ni kita tahu bahawa dua kuasa tiga iaitu lapan. So, untuk yang ketiga tiga ni, yang ketiga tiga ni, so kita replace lapan dekat tempat yang ketiga tiga ni. So, remain empat dekat belakang bahagi dekat depan. So, yang lain ni sama je. Ok, so sekarang the second operator will be bahagi. So, ambil dua nombor di belakang bahagi 8 dengan 4 ni. So, 8 divided by 4 will become 2. So, replace 2 for this 3 notation. So, we put 2, we replace the 3 this three notation by using two. So then the rest just write it again. Okay. Find the operator first. This darab here. The dua nombor yang terhampir dia ialah dua dengan tiga. So dua dengan tiga ialah dua darab tiga. Jadi enam. So kita replace ni menjadi enam. Okay. So the next operator is tolak. So, the two number after tolak is 6 dengan 5. So, 6 tolak 5 akan jadi 1. So, diganti yang ketiga-tiga tu dengan 1. So, tinggal 1, 2 dan tambah sini. So, 1 tambah 2 akan jadi 3. So, selesailah untuk nak cari value of, of the prefix notation. So, for the Postfix notation, we know that our parent will be at the back. So, here we have to begin with the child in front. So, same, we have to find the operator, then the next, uh, the, uh, the two number before operator. Uh, six, uh, three and uh, two and three, two times three is six. So replace six here. Then again, find the new operator minus. So the the in front minus is seven and six. So selesaikan kita dapat satu. So replace satu here. Then find another operator. Okay. So one power of four is one so replace one so the next operator is bahagi so the two number before that operator is nine divided by divided by three is three so re replace it with three then the last the last operator is tambah okay so selesailah kita dapat tiga that's the postfix expression in how to solve postfix expression okay so here that's the thing that we have covered ju just now okay so the next topic and will be our last topic is boolean algebra the last topic for discrete mathematics then we have to go for the final exam okay thank you assalamualaikum good luck selamat raya